After raising expectations of a critical meeting between President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin at the APEC Economic Summit in Vietnam, the two men may only make time for this, a quick group photo with other world leaders. The White House says both sides are running into trouble finding time for a meeting. As a frustrated Kremlin spokesman put it, in theory they can travel to Mars together tonight. Life is a bit different. Let's wait and see. Administration officials who had said the president wanted to call on Putin to ramp up the pressure on North Korea are now hedging their bets. Clearly the leaders are going to be at the summit together. Uh, wouldn't be at all unusual if they ended up with some kind of a pull aside. The question is whether we've got sufficient substance. But a meeting with Putin would also highlight a mushrooming political problem for the president back home, the Russia investigation. That, I think, is keeping President Trump from formally having a meeting because he's going to have to talk about that to the press, and he may not want to upset President Putin uh, because he's going to have to be strong. Overshadowed by events back in the U.S. throughout this trip, from the Texas church shooting to the Virginia election defeat for the GOP, and now the Roy Moore allegations, the president is trying to change the subject, continuing his calls for fair trade deals. But even on this winning issue with his base, the president is changing his tune, all but forgiving China for its trading practices. The current trade imbalance is not acceptable. I do not blame China or any other country, of which there are many, for taking advantage of the United States on trade. If their representatives are able to get away with it, they are just doing their jobs. That's a far cry from how he blasted China in the past. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country, and that's what they're doing. It's the greatest theft in the history of the world. The president vowed he would be tougher on trade than his predecessors, though he didn't lay out exactly how. We are not going to let the United States be taken advantage of anymore. I am always going to put America first, the same way that I expect all of you in this room to put your countries first. The president paid tribute to Vietnam War veterans who gathered in Da Nang where Mr. Trump remembered the sacrifices made at this once crucial battleground, touting his administration's efforts to build up the U.S. military. I got to know them for a few minutes up front, and they are definitely tough, smart cookies. We like them. I think they like me, too. I'm not sure, but I think... No, I think they do. I think they do. I think they see what we're doing for our military.